Okay, so now you know about paths. So it's time to talk about the paths dialog area and the interaction with the dialog box here. Okay, so we'll just uh, create a quick path. Nothing elaborate. Okay, so as you know, we have a path here and it shows up right here. We turn the eye on and we go with select none. We're already on select none. We'll go with a different tool. And there's no nodes or anything on this, but it does show you where the path is. When you turn the eye off, and now it's gone. But you can use your other tools. Create as. All right. So you have something like this you just made with the free select tool. You can turn that into a path. Go to your paths dialog box and see this icon right here. See this icon right here? You can click on that. And it will create a path for you. Okay? So if we go to select none, there's nothing there anymore. But we can go up to our paths, turn that eye on, and you can see the path is actually there still. So now you have a full path out of a lot of these different tools that we have available to us. So we can go to, say, like a note this year. Expand from center to a fixed. And you can just go like that. I believe. Go to you can go down here. You can open up. You can open up uh with a right click, go to select, and then go to path. Checking in your dialog box and it's there now. Okay. Just a little shorter way if you don't want to go to the icon there to do it. Now with that, there's many things we can do with these paths while we're in that with this paths dialog box it allows us to have. Okay. So these paths are actually here. We just don't see them because I have the eyes turned off. But, you can do all kinds of things with these paths. You can flip them. We'll turn it on. We'll actually duplicate it. We can duplicate it also. Duplicate the path, just like we can a layer. See that? Now it's been duplicated. We'll go there. We'll go to like our flip tool. You can, while you're on the flip tool, and on every tool you go to use with these paths, though, you have to make sure that you select the path. So uh, there's if there's uh, the availability with the different tools to do with paths and other things, you'll always have these three things show up, and that is the layers the selection, and the path. So we're on the path. We want to select the path. Okay. Otherwise, we would be flipping what was on that layer. We don't want to flip what's on the layer. We want to flip what's on the path. So, and then from here, we have horizontal and vertical. Okay. If you look up here, 
to we're going to be working on whatever path is selected just as we are in the whenever we are working in layers you have to make sure your right path is selected that you're going to be working on and we can do a flip by clicking on our flip tool clicking on our path clicking on if we want it to flip horizontally or vertically and then we're here and just click on that and there it goes it flips over now to this side turn that eye on and you can see we have both of them here we just created two paths on and they're on equal spots on the page okay horizontally that means okay we can take and say go to rotate tool. Now we're on our rotate tool. Once again, make sure you're on your path. Normal, corrective, not even sure about those. Um, do, 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 do. So I just always stay on normal. I've tried corrective and what's called backward. It's forward and backward. I don't know the difference unless maybe, I guess it just rotates it the other direction, I guess. I never noticed it, but that's what would make sense. So we'll just click and we'll do a rotate. And you can just rotate that however you like. So if we were to go 180 degrees, it would be exactly where it was before. Pretty much. <laughs> it must have been a little bit higher maybe since we did a 180 and not a horizontal flip. Okay. So just a few of the basics on that. Um, Once again, you can resize it, but make sure you're on your path. You can just drag this. Make it smaller or bigger, however you want. Scale it down, and now you have a, something else. Okay. You can stroke them just like every other path. Um, you move them around just like with the layers. I'm sure I'm forgetting to probably tell you something about paths, but right now this is looking like the basics on using the paths dialog box. Yeah, wow. Good timing, too. It didn't take you forever. Today. So, there you are. You can do that with the uh, rectangular select tool. There it is. You can do it with the free select tool. Paths tool already makes one on its own. And then you can interact with the um, you can even make one from uh, all of these other things pretty much, I guess. Even because all you would have to do is uh, put it on um, its own layer, do an alpha to selection, and then you can create a path from there. Any selection can become a path. If that's what you're doing. Selection to path. So anything that you can select, you can create a path out of. So even on a new layer, say on this dialog box one, okay, let's turn these paths off. I'll go with this. Select none. All right, so on this new layer where we have that 
writing of paths dialog, we'll go with alphabet selection. Now we'll go to our paths dialog box, and we can do a selection to path. Okay, so there we go, selection to path. Go so select none. All right, with this path, we can stroke this path. We can do whatever we want with it. Let's create a new layer. Let's turn this layer off. This one off. This one off. We'll go here. We'll do a path to selection. Let's just stroke this path. And we'll go with a solid color of, yeah, six is fine. Let's get some color on it. Uh, maybe a green. Nice uh, green. And we'll just stroke it. Oh man, stroke man. Okay, so there you go. Pretty much anything you do can become a path. Um, one more real quick, show you. Just so you get the idea again. If you already got the concept here, you don't have to watch anymore. But for those that want to see a little bit more, Go to the paint tool. Let me just paint something out. Any old thing you want. Then you would do an alpha to selection. Then you would go to your paths dialog box and you would go to your Selection to path, and it creates this path. Go back here, turn this off, create a new layer. Or we can just work on the one we were on, but okay. And then we'll take and change our color to say a blue, purple. And we can just do a stroke path. Go up to here. Stroke it. And there you go. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. You can do it with anything you want. Anything you can do. You can even do it from a yeah. fuzzy select tool. Creates a selection. You can create a path out of that now. Okay. Hope this uh, helped you learn a little something about paths in the paths dialogue.